five shots fired at a busy shopping plaza. This actually happened last night on Universal Drive in North Haven. Yeah, there's a very busy area where police have noticed an increase in crime. Pinpoint News Tracker shows us the location, and police say the man who pulled the trigger faced a judge today. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is live tonight with the details. Matt. Well, Aaron and Mark, according to North Haven Police, the shots were fired out behind the Target shopping plaza here on Universal Drive. And today we learned through court records that this man accused of that, well, allegedly it's not the first time he caused a dangerous incident right here in this parking lot. And 24-year-old Adam Marin got his wish after North Haven Police say he took aim and fired two shots while in the Target plaza on Universal Drive. I felt immediately afraid because, you know, you should get that in this area. According to police, a truck driver making a delivery around 9.30 Tuesday night heard a gunshot and saw a man fire another shot into the air before getting into a Jeep. Officers located the SUV parked near the Tide Marsh Trail. They say at first, Marin, who's homeless, denied having a gun, saying he set off fireworks. But when officers searched the car, they found a 22 caliber gun. Marin allegedly told them he fired it towards a skunk so his dog wouldn't chase it. This file is further complicated by the fact that it appears there are uh, protective orders in place in multiple jurisdictions that would prevent the defendant from possessing a firearm. In addition to the gun charges today in court, we learned Marin was also wanted on a number of failure to appear counts, including this case from last August, when police say he crashed his car into a busy clothing store in the same Target Plaza and then sped off. In response to the gunfire and an uptick in thefts and reckless behavior on Universal Drive, North Haven's first selectman says the message for those looking to cause trouble is clear. You will get caught, adding police have upped their presence in the area. I'm trying to add two more officers. We're investing back in our police department. We're trying to get some of these property owners to maybe help us by putting some security. And shoppers like Laverne Jackson, out with her little grandson, are relieved to hear there will be plenty of patrols. We need to feel safe while we're out here shopping. We always did, and just to hear that, just to, I never heard that before. And I come here all the time, all these stores, we go all the time. So I'm thanking God that they are going to be out here more frequently. Now the judge transferred the gun case to New Haven Court. Marin will appear there tomorrow. He's being held on $150,000 on that gun charge, and his public defender says he has no way of posting bail. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in North Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.